All right, this Hauser, side unit in the golfer banner. If you watch my summons, you know, I love and hate this guy. I just finished summoning for him and pulled a nice 10 copies. So that was phenomenal. <laughs> but he is a promising unit um, with a few issues, but he's going to probably be a part three banner unit. So he's a, a relatively easy to access unit. And I think he could be a very good unit for the bond team. Now, what does he do and why do I think that? His passive is that detonate skills do 30% more damage. Now, I don't... It definitely isn't like 30% per detonate, like per orb. It's just 30% flat, or else that would be completely broken. Um, so it's definitely just, you know, the detonate skills with 30% more damage, which is what Bon actually has on his card. That's why I think he's going to be great. Um, his other skills... See, I don't think he matters that much because I would not run this guy in the front. This is a back unit. I think the Bond team can use him greatly as him in the fourth. Bond, Twigo, and Arthur in the front. Twigo has the Holy Relic, which for an R character, I would say if you're going to use Twigo, you have to have the Holy Relic. The materials are completely farmable. So there's no like, oh, this is pay to win. Twigo, like R characters, the materials are farmable. So for him, I would say you have to have the Holy Relic. Arthur, of course, is him. And Bond. I don't have the Holy Relic, so in this video specifically, I'm not going to use it. I could get the Holy Relic. I, I haven't actually farmed the bird. I need cubes. Um, if you guys want to see the Holy Relic, in two days, not tomorrow. Tomorrow I have other stuff to upload. In two days, for Bon, I'm going to go a little higher because I, I actually don't want to farm <laughs> Look, it's so annoying farming the bird. Like 3,000 likes. And I'll do it like... In, I'll, I'll, I'll farm it tomorrow um, and get it done for the next day. But then I'll, I'll use Hazard as well on that, on that video. I want to use him in the fourth. Twigo has that two-turn taunt. Then Arthur also has a taunt. And then you just build up on that way. And his skills do a lot of damage. That's how I would build it. Um, and then Hazard takes off ultimate gauge, which is nice. Uh, again... Use him in the back. His other skill is Detonate uh, AoE. So, you know, I guess it makes sense. It makes sense with him. His ultimate is the same as usual. Um, you know, I'm using him linked with Gyo, but he does two, uh, 525 as, you know, just him, or 600 with Gyo as a link. Uh, D ranks cards from the enemy team, and for each D rank card, they lose an ultimate gauge. Um, why is he bad and he could be a hindrance or a, a bottleneck on your team his stats are horrible he's an old unit like he is an old unit and he uh, no he's a new unit but he's an old named character old named characters need to get buffed They're like it's not even like oh make a new hauser with a new name no no i want the old units to get buffed that's what this game needs to prioritize in like soon like it's been a, a thing that's been affecting old units for a while now it's just the stats don't keep up his best stat is like none like all his stats are very mediocre 58 core resistance these days doesn't cut in um his crit defense is probably very low very low 61 percent crit chance would have been great a year and a half ago um 47 percent pierce would have been great when pierce was relevant and 15% resistance is horrendous. So it's like 4% life is horrendous as well. He really likes stats. But like I said, he would be a fourth on the team. So that wouldn't matter as much. CC wise, he's not losing much. 60.9k CC with him maxed out. It's not as good as a new unit. Of course. So like if you compare to Arthur, for example... Arthur is a very similar situation. He has basically 1,000 more CC, right? But it's not terrible, you know? It's not horrible. Um, and of course, he's getting 1,000 more CC by having given the back. So, let's go. Um, see what we got. Again, I, I saw a comment in the, uh, the video earlier today saying, oh, you need to do the 14% the HP as I have 12 I wish. I messed up. So the one challenge I'm missing from that, I believe is, because it's all in Japanese, I believe is challenge the last stage with a full SR team. And I could have done that when the um, disaster tower was here, but I didn't. That was my mistake. 
Okay, I don't know why it's loading like that. Let's go. Oh man. Wish I had to go. <laughs> Let's go with this. Um there's no reason to use detonate skills right now. I mean they're all using, you know, detonate really. So because uh, Arthur has I putting up Arthur, I, I know for a fact uh, he has it on his ultimate. No, yeah, Arthur's um, AoE's charge. For a second, I also thought it was detonate. No, Arthur for a fact has on his ultimate detonate. Oh, by the way, uh, link in the description, gamer subs, if you want to get some nice energy drinks. Almost forgot. Almost forgot to to chill. <laughs> Uh, let's get Bon built up here so he doesn't die. And we'll use his death and good next turn. Oh. Hmm. I don't think I will die. But Margaret's gonna hit really hard. Oh, okay, it's not level 3. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Well, she has level 3 damage reduction, so... Keep that in mind, but of course, let's see how much we're doing. I'm gonna target Margaret for the takeoff ultimate gauge. And then... This. Yeah, with damage reduction, too. Sure. Level 3 damage reduction. Those stats are terrible, bro. <laughs> those stats, bro. That That's what those stats translate to. Exactly that. Just terrible damage. And this is this is the, the one bottleneck for him. He would have been a phenomenal unit if he got buffed. Or if he was a new named unit, of course. But, like, that's the thing. I don't, I, he doesn't need to be a new named unit. Just buff his stats. That's all you need to do. Just buff his stats. He would have been great. A shame, but what can you do? Let's get the detonate going again, and this will definitely kill Margaret. Even with level 3 damage reduction. Right, Hauser? Yeah, like I said, fourth. I would not run in the front. Those stats are not it. Does he even have detonate? Um, I'm actually thinking he might not, because that was really bad damage. Really bad damage. I can get an ult with him, by the way. Because I don't think he's going to focus on Arthur now. No, oh, I'm sorry, not Arthur. Uh, on Hauser, he's going to focus on Arthur. Arthur is most likely dead. Wouldn't that give me... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, wouldn't that give me Bond's ultimate? But... Okay, we're gonna go for, and you might think, oh, why would you even do this? Taking off his ultimate twice, just in case those two cards combine. It didn't, but worth the shot. And we won. Man... I kind of do want to get the Bon Holy Relic just for funsies. I want to ult with him, but now they have a shield too. Ah, I'm gonna... <sighs> nah, here's the thing, right? Askener is going to get revived. So I might as well actually ult second with Hauser. Derank his card, maybe? Yeah, it's gonna derank his card. I mean, the cards might combine, though. It didn't combine. Perfect execution. <laughs> it did not combine. And we gotta take off ultimate gauge. Very, very, very nice. Oh, the game. The game do be lagging a bit. Game? Game? Is that on me? Okay, I guess we're gonna move on to the next match with the boys just chilling there. Just... Just vibing, I guess. What do we got next?
Mm. It's done, Sedge. No, I can't drink anymore because I'm, I'm going to play Warzone later, so I don't want to... It's a bot. I don't want to drink it now and then feel guilty drinking it later because it's caffeine. You, can't dr you shouldn't drink too much caffeine as a rule of thumb or else you're going to... Especially because you're going to lose the um, sensibility to it. You want to keep a little bit of sensibility so you actually get a, a nice kick from it. Um... I'm gonna wait for when I actually start playing the game. Yeah, just, just, just get uh, Bond's damage here. And we move on, because this is a bot. I mean, it's really difficult to, like... You know... Completely comprehend... How much more he's hitting. Because, let's say... I take off Hauser and I put Griamor, for example. I don't think I would hit much harder than what I want to have Grim more, but I'd have more CC, for example. So, it is a a better back unit than Grim more. I would argue, simply because he takes off ultimate gauge, but at the same time, Grim more is red, so there's its benefits and its uh, mishappens. Uh, how much damage are we doing, Hauser? Those stats gotta go. Alright, this will be my last match of Hauser in the front. Because I, I do want to make the point that I, I'll use him in the fourth. So I'm going to use him for next match. Starting from next match, in the, in the back. Very unlucky that every single one of my matches, which have only been two, this one and the other one, I've got an extra Arthur card over Bon or even Hauser. It's okay. Again, Arthur's ultimate is going to get a good kick from the Hauser passive as well. So... Just go for Hauser's ultimate. He's even worth it. Interesting team he's using. He's using, you know, he's gonna buff um, Tarmiel's defense with Easton. He has clans. It's a lot going for it. Um, I can just take off Tarmiel's ultimate as, as I wish, though. So, there's that. Can't go for Hauser's ultimate. Let's just build up Bond real quick. I'm gonna use Bond's attack, I feel like it's worth it. Even though I don't have the blue card up, it's still gonna hit pretty hard. Yeah. No crits, unfortunately, but that's okay. I'm gonna get a max style Bond next turn. He's gonna level 3 damage, uh, not damage reduction, but defense, okay. Okay. Let's get this ball rolling as well. Got my ult, but he can easily just take it away. He has two take off ultimate gauge units, and I'll have, I don't have a taunt right now. Nice defense, bro. <laughs> Very nice defense. Very useful, in fact. And with Gil in the back, too. Very useful defense, if you ask me. Uh. You need a bond card so you can get his ultimate next turn again, but... Nice. We'll replenish that. Let's take off his ultimate gauge too. Take off three. So if he combines, he'll still lose it. 7k damage. I know he has HP defense, but come on. Like the... That's so bad. Alright. Out CCs me. Interesting. Oh, that's a team I definitely want to use with Galfer. Green Galfer, Green Merlin, and Ludo. That's some nerfing, like, nerfing. That's some Merlin damage galore right there. Okay. See what you got. I mean, he's going to steal my blue cards, so I can't even use Bond. Is it even worth combining my Bond cards? Well, he didn't. I guess he wants to seal my ultimate. He should have. He definitely should have. Because I'm now I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna get my ultimate. I think he combined cards with Galfer, so I think he is gonna seal my ultimate. But I'm gonna do this, which is gonna do some really high damage. 
It's only level 1 card though, so it probably won't one-shot Golfer or anything like that. Yeah. Maybe if Golfer had 5 ultimate gauge. I don't know. He's definitely gonna seal my ultimate. I think that's that's what he held that card for. And he got Ludo's ultimate, okay. Yeah, yeah, I knew. It doesn't lower my HP or anything, though. So I'm still gonna do quite a lot with um, my cards here. How much did Ludo heal? He healed a lot, but now he has 5 ultimate gauge. So this will hurt his Ludo. That's, that's max detonate. No crits. Mm. No crits was uh, a little unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that thirty percent is not that, you know, crazy. I mean, it was type disadvantage as well, but still. It was type disadvantage, but... Well, the match is done. Because <laughs> Ban be Banning, you know? But... Hmm. I still have somewhat faith. Alright, Margaret. Out CCs me, to be expected. I don't, I'm not using CC food. Twigo extra card. Love that. <laughs> Should we get an ultimate with Twigo? You already got level 3 with Margaret. Mm. Oh, I can't get the ultimate with Twigo anymore. Uh, you know, the best... The best thing to do at all times is just hope for an extra bond card. So I have to just do this, basically. I'm gonna waste the Arthur card because it's not needed. I don't even care for who I'm targeting with Twigo anyways. Could go with anyone. So I didn't even bother clicking anyone. Gaffer, that's fine. Actually did kind of reasonable damage for Twigo. I'm not comparing him to like a festival unit. Just Twigo? Okay, he's popping in those attacks. Level 3 card coming in. Cool. Disables Twigo. Why not? <laughs> I'm sure that made a lot of sense. Um, well... Oh, he's lowering my stats every time I do a card. It might not hit so hard because of that. Mm. Yeah, lower my crit chance, crit damage, my HP. Still killed Galfer, which is nice. Less attack for him. Got one bond card. Love to see it. How did you get disabled? Every turn. They always do. It's amazing. No, I don't I don't have the thing anymore. Alright, Twigo, please get wiped. Hauser. Give me like a like a takeoff ultimate gauge. Thank you. Bro, I'm so impressed, like it never fails me that I don't get bunk cards. I get, like, a, the minimal amount possible. 7k damage, let's go. See, if if this guy had updated stats, complete different story. It would have been a complete different story. But no, they can't, they can't buff old units, because that would make no sense, even though they keep releasing old units! Or old named units. They keep releasing them, but it makes no sense to buff them, I guess. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Well, the match is done. Buns ultimate is um, wipe or not? One more. 
One more, just for good measure. You know what's crazy too? If I had Bun's Relic, I would have one-shot the ultimate. Because I would have had 15% more HP. That's enough. Plus, I would have had more HP anyways, because uh, the Relic gives a little more HP. No match. This whole video, I got a 7th Bun card. Uh, got one, got, got some now. I also stupidly just used the, the, the R for taunt. That's fine though, it's a bot. Um, see, I, I like this Hauser. I like the concept of this Hauser. But I have to be honest, in practice, it's really, really hard to say like, yes, invest on Hauser. <laughs> when, you know, maybe you already have your bun team built. Maybe, all right? Hauser's Holy Relic will change him completely. And at that point, sure. Like, it's good. Like, the, the, the passive definitely is good, and it's definitely doing something, but like... If you're already using East in the front and Twigo in the back, there's no reason to put Twigo in the front and Hauser in the back. I don't think. It's... Maybe I'm wrong, we'll see, but maybe some, you know, more, um, you no know, top rank players that, you know, play top 100 will actually end up using this. Maybe in the rankings, you know, next week we'll see. Or the following week, because this week they probably are already done playing. Um, we'll see, you know, but I don't know. It could be a case where he does actually do a lot for Bon, or... The extra HP from Grimoire is more worth it than the uh, the 30% damage. Just buff his stats, man. Now, Marvel, please. I know I ask you for a lot, but just a little, one more favor. Because since, since you've done none of the other things I asked you for, just one thing, okay? Just buff all the stats. That's all they need, too. You don't even need to go like crazy buffing their passives and their cards. Their stats is good enough, okay? Good enough.